What's up, guys? Um, I found out how to. Uh, I found out what was happening with my scooter. You know how I was uh, having this issue where it was turning off. Uh, nine nine baht max G30. Um, I found out it was not the controller nor the dashboard. So what was happening was that my scooter will turn on and then you ride it. And 10 seconds later it'll shut out shut off and then it'll turn back on but it won't last long riding it it'll turn off again so what was going on is that the battery the the bms was actually shutting off my scooter so i was searching around the, the internet and youtube and what it is is that you're gonna have to do a bypass the, the bypass is actually coming off from this black uh, negative wire here. So what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna have to take off the nine screws that are on the side right here. And then you're gonna have to, with a, with an exacto knife, kind of take off the glue that's holding the cap in place and just pry it off a little bit with a chisel, whatever you have, in, whatever tool you have to be able to pry off the cap. So once you do that, you're with, you're stuck with this here. So there's glue, there's adhesive here around the top part of the walls right here where the battery is sitting. So you're gonna have to actually use something to to remove that that adhesive or glue. Just be careful of not puncturing the, the batteries. Okay. So basically what we're gonna do is that um, we need to take the battery out of here and where you see where you see that negative wire right there yeah that big one right there we're gonna have to cut it off from there that's where the VMS is connected to all right and then uh, all the way in the back there that's where we're gonna reroute the, the we're gonna actually connect the bat uh, the negative wire here all the way over there at the end so Let's start trying it out. Oh, a reminder that uh, you got before you try to remove it from here, the walls, take off the screws that are filled in with this type of uh, gel right here. So once you remove those from there, then you'll be it'll be a lot easier to to actually. Where's my tool? Right here. So actually it will be a lot easier to put a chisel right there. And what you're gonna do is actually take, uh, take off that glue that's around the walls like that, see that? So once you do that around, it'll be a lot easier to move to get the battery out, okay? So once you have the battery out, Okay, see, once you have the battery off, what you're gonna do is locate the negative, the big negative cable there. What you're gonna do is actually, sorry about that guys, it's really hard to have. Phone in your hand and, and the other tool in the other hand. So what you're gonna do is actually locate this and cut it off. All right, once you cut that one off, this is the cable that goes directly to uh, the controller, okay? You're actually cutting off this right here. The main negative right there, the one that goes to the controller. So once you have that cut off, you're gonna locate this negative cable here. It's on the side right here. So which the, the, the guy that was showing us how to do this is that, um, he cut this wire off and then he soldered a, uh, another wire here to solder it down here but I mean why even do that all you have to do is just scrape off the, the, the protective shield right here and then what you're gonna do is uh, connect that uh, that wire this one here over here and that that will do the bypass okay uh, the that 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 negative right here is gonna go that wire is gonna go right here 
So we're going to shave this off a little bit. But in order to that to work, because it's kind of short, you're going to get another wire, okay? Try to get another, another wire that's almost as thick as the one that's on the side right here. See that? And then the thing you want to do is you want to connect this cable here with the one that you cut off from here to go right here. So let me uh, put the phone down and so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the protective layer here and then I'm gonna shave off this here so I could actually connect the other wire here to here, okay? And that will complete your uh, bypass. That will actually uh, keep your scooter running and it's not gonna turn off anymore, okay? All right, guys, give me a couple seconds and I'll show you right now how you do this, okay? So basically what you're doing is that you're removing the, the protected insulator or the wire here, the negative, all right? And then you're also removing the other one here. I don't have a solder gun or nothing like that. I mean, I should, but can't find it right now. So what I'm gonna do is do, uh, I'm just gonna tie them up, do a, a picky tail right here, a pigtail right here, and then put some uh, black tape right there, like electrical wire. And then just let me show you real quick. How is that with the electric wire here? And then the reason why you need this wire here is that this this is not long enough to go here and connect there, okay? Let me show you. So basically, here's the bypass already. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some, uh, some uh, plastic here or tape, electrical tape. And then also gonna put electrical tape right here. But that, that completes the circuit right there. So the bypass is going to go from here, it's still connected to the battery or the BMS or the circuit board right here. So we cut the main line from like there, we hooked it up here, so it's going to go straight here to the negative. So you're still going to be able to charge your battery and everything. The scooter's still going to recognize it as a, uh, uh, for the 9 baht max scooter, the G30. So um, let me uh, put the tape on this and put it back together and I'll show you that the scooter is running now, it won't, it won't shut off anymore. And remember it was doing this because it will be shutting off every 10 seconds. Well it will keep, you could actually run the, the scooter running, keep it running and, and it will keep on running on the test but when you get on it and, and you drove it. Uh, It'll, it'll shut off like in 10 seconds. So this is the bypass to keep it on. Okay guys, if you have that issue, this is what you have to do. All right, then just put this bad boy together. So basically it goes back on, like you see. And then you got your wire, you got your wire here. So it's not touching anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And then the other one I did put the tape, electrical tape on it. And it snuck in there really good. So now I'm going to be able to put the cap back on, okay? Putting the cap back on on this bad boy. And let's see how it goes on the scooter, okay?